hi guys i hope you're having a lovely day today welcome to my channel today's video is going to be a tutorial for this eyeshadow look right here and i'm using the tres luce the i am palette this is becky g's brand got this gorgeous palette in my boxycharm premium box for the month of october and you don't have to use this palette for this look but i'm going to show you how i do a cut crease and this kind of a look and you can use any palette you like but today i just really wanted to play with this one because it's new to my collection and i couldn't wait to play with it but let's go ahead and get into the tutorial right now okay guys so the first thing i'm going to do is prime my eyelids using the nyx eyeshadow base in the shade white and i'm just going to use my finger to apply this all over my eyelids getting near the brow bone so I'm first going to dip into that navy blue color Poderosa um, and I'm using a small angled brush from Morphe and I'm going to create sort of a line like I'm, if I was doing like wing liner just a line going upwards and then I'm going to connect that to my crease and you see I have that outer V shape right there and then I'm going to keep connecting it until I get to the inner part of my lid. Um, this line can be rough um, we're going to blend it out but this is just going to be a guide for your cut crease and this will help you to blend and make everything a little softer later on. Now I'm gonna use this small brush to blend. Um, there's no shadow on it. And I'm very gently just cleaning up that line. I'm not like being, being rough or uh, trying to move the shadow too much. I'm just trying to make that line uh, a little thicker and a little cleaner, making sure that it, everything is nice and saturated evenly. And yeah, I like it so far, but now I'm going to take another brush and this is another uh, like blending style brush. This is a Morphe M574 brush and I dipped into that blue color Mar and now I'm blending. So I'm placing this right where that navy blue um, color ends and I'm focusing it on the outer part of my lid and whatever is left over I'll drag towards the front. But I want most of this shadow to be on the outer part just because I like the way that it looks, um, the whole contrast that it gives. Now I'm going to clean my um my lid using some micellar water and a q-tip i'm just going to remove any of the blue shadow um and now to cut my crease i'm using this flat lid brush and i'm going to use my base you can use anything that you like that will lighten your eye and give you the best contrast between your crease and your lid so i'm using the tip of this very flat brush to just go right before that line starts on my crease and make um, as smooth of a line as you can get it to be. At first, it might not be as smooth. Mine is not always the smoothest at first, but you take your time. And then once you have a nice and smooth line, you can fill in the rest of your eye and apply whatever shadow you want on your lid to get a nice contrast between your lid and your crease. But any kind of small, flat lid brush will really help you with this process. And I'm just gonna fill in with, uh, that base all over my eye wherever I cut it and I'm gonna try that green shadow hustle I did spray my brush with some setting spray to attempt to get it to be a little bit more intense but it turned out to be a little muddy which I don't know if it was a setting spray or just this shadow is not as bright as I expected it to be but either way I'm gonna work with it I applied it to the rest of my lid and I let it go and decided to go ahead and use another shimmer on top of it which is that gold shimmer called vibrant and placing this on top of this I think made the perfect combination for me because the gold is beautiful but mixed with that muddy looking green i think is a perfect combination and i just love it so i applied it to the rest of my lid now to my waterline i'm applying the illuminati cosmetics gel paint electric blue liner uh, this is a really pretty liner that is actually perfect for this look because it's not too bright and i'm going to go in with that um sort of blue teal shimmer grateful and i'm going to apply it all, all over underneath my lower lash line but i'm focusing it more on the inner half because i want that part to be bright and this is the perfect shimmer for that i'm taking my angled brush from earlier and i cleaned it off and i dipped into that beautiful black matte shim um, color fuerte and I am going to smoke out the lower lash line. And I just love this because I have that blue shimmer. But I feel like it's so nice and smoky over it. And I'm focusing the black on the outer part of underneath my lower lash line. Then I connect it to the top. Create a sort of an outer wing. And also lined my lid as if I was doing like a wing liner. But I'm taking my time lining it. I want it to be subtle. And I'm slowly just lining and smoking out also on the outer part of my eye because I just love this black. And with whatever excess I have on my brush, I'm going to drag into my crease to create a very nice contrast. Now I'm taking this blending brush from earlier without adding any product to it. And I'm blending out that black to make it more cohesive and a little bit cleaner so we don't have so many harsh lines. So make sure that the blue, dark blue, and the black are sort of married together and you have this nice combo. 
going on and i just really liked it i was not expecting to choose this color but i feel like it worked out in the end and i love the smokiness that i have going on on the outer part of my eye and then working towards the front we have some light going on and i think it looks really pretty that way Now I took some setting powder and this little puff to clean out the outer edge of my shadow just to make it a little bit cleaner and nicer. Um, and then I'm going to go in with that beautiful white shimmer Divina and I'm going to apply it to my inner corner and also underneath my brow when it's the perfect uh, shadow to highlight any part of your makeup and I just absolutely loved it. Okay guys, so this is how the look turned out. Let me know what you guys think. I love it. It's so pretty. I was not expecting to go this way today. I know I wanted to do a cut crease, but I always just start and let, let it flow. And I just went with the shades that were calling my name and I needed to try them out. So this is what I came up with and I'm actually in love with it. Now on my lips, I'm wearing the Sugar Cosmetics Plush Crush um, Cream Crayon. Uh, let me swatch it somewhere. My hands are full of swatches from another video. But that's what that looks like. It's like a brown terracotta color, I want to say. And then for gloss, I'm using the Nabla Cosmetics Shine Theory Lip Gloss in RSVP. What a pretty gloss. Look at that. I just wanted to do something kind of brown, but that wouldn't call it too much attention because I really want the focus to be the eyes. But that's what I'm wearing on my lips. And overall, I really like this palette. I love this look. Um really beautiful look i hope that you guys enjoyed it if you guys did please let me know in the comments and also um give this video a big thumbs up for me don't forget to subscribe before you go and i will see you guys in my next video enjoy the rest of your day guys bye Mwah.